Hey guys and welcome back to the second part of the series here. So in the second part of the series I want to talk about uh, why I have two computers that are comp uh, copying each other all the time and uh, why I think you should do that or shouldn't and stuff like that. So I'd just like to start off with uh, if you're only planning on using your old used computer uh, I don't you're not going to need to do these what we're going to talk about here so you might as well just like skip this entire video but if you're going to be a little bit serious about having some websites and you're going to have like three or four websites uh, Google really appreciates when the websites are up all the time and it doesn't like that the websites go down and your customers don't like it when your websites go down either right so you want to make sure that you have some redundancy so that your computers stay on all the time and your websites stay on all the time so I do recommend having some sort of redundancy so meaning having two or more computers uh, like working in a cluster or whatever so that uh, if one fails you know the other one takes over and this is what this video is about uh, if you're not going to go this route you know and you think that only one computer is good enough for your system then you might as well skip this video so uh, okay let's uh, let's move let's move on here Okay, so we were down at the rack the other day, and I made a video about the rack, and you guys can go view that if you want. But uh, we were talking about our servers and stuff, and this this is actually server number two that I'm working on. Actually, I'm waiting for a backplate for the CPU for this server. So anyways, uh, server number two is actually my weaker server. It's got a little bit of, of an older CPU in it. It's got an, an AM3, I think an AM3 CPU in it and uh, yeah it's a 99, 9950FX CPU I think uh, anyway so this is actually my second computer and uh, what I would call my uh, slave computer uh, and uh, yes it's down obviously as you can tell and uh, anyways to have two computers running in uh, in replica that are copying each other all the time I'm using uh, a system called uh, HA Lizard which uh, operates inside of another operating system called uh, XCP-NG so I'm using XCP-NG onto these servers as the OS so that's that's the main one that you'd want to install on your, your computer you'd want to install XCP-NG and that that runs virtual servers and uh, that's what we want to install to be able to install uh, HA Lizard afterwards so you'd want to install on your two servers uh, XCP uh, NG and uh, you gotta make sure that your two servers are fairly similar so my server one has the same amount of hard drives in it it has two hard drives that are, that are actually in RAID and uh, one other hard drive that's actually the OS <clears throat> so on here on this little hard drive here is the XCP that's actually installed on here and these two hard drives are running in RAID and that's where our server usually lives uh, or our websites usually live and uh, these hard drives on the second server these two here are in replica of the two hard drives that are in the first server so they're always being copied through HA Lizard and BRD using B BRBD using BRBD yeah so there's BRBD and HA Lizard and IceCuzzy and there's a bunch of learning for you to do and actually if you're going to go this route and you need to get <coughs> HA Lizard installed uh, <coughs> I would I almost recommend uh, hiring somebody from like Upwork to do the actual uh, <coughs> just setting up of the software itself you, you can do uh, the XCP uh, install onto your computer but uh, to get HA Lizard to actually work is a little bit complicated. <clears throat> uh, so, but what you will need for it to work is you need uh, a replica port. So you will need an extra Ethernet card uh, so that this one and your other computer, uh, your server one, is connected directly, not through your switch, but directly. 
connected directly through your Ethernet port on this one, straight to your other computer. So that that's how uh, the hard drives are, are copy each other the whole time. That's how they keep in perfect uh, copy of each other. And that's through the Ethernet port. And uh, <clears throat> if your server is gonna be really busy, you're gonna want to have two of these cards in here so that you bond them together so that you bond the ports together so that you have faster connection speed but because my system is is very like I get like maybe a thousand visitors per day uh, it's not very demanding yet and uh, my hard drive is not that busy uh, one one Ethernet card works for me right now and I, I can get enough uh, transfer speed through there uh, from my hard drives so uh, there you have it. This is server 2 and uh, Yes, so what you'll need to do is uh, If you were going this route and you're gonna have two two uh, Computers in replica so that if one goes down the other one takes over You need two fairly identical computers with the same number of drives in it the same space like available and uh, you'll have the two computers running XCPNG on them as the OS, which is a virtual um, hypervisor. Sorry, I need a little bit of coffee here. So you need, I, I would use that one because it's free. XCPNG is free, so you can uh, download it for free and install it. So you install it on server one, install it on server two, and then install HA Lizard on server one, and install HA Lizard on server two, and then, holy, once that's all done, that's when you're gonna go and get a virtual server running. So we're gonna do that in, a, in another video actually, get the virtual server running on XCP for you on the computer. But uh, <clears throat> this is the hardware part, I guess. So yes, uh, I was a little bit confused uh, when I was doing this by uh, actually having another ethernet card. I've never had to plug two computers directly into them without using the router. Um, so this is what you actually need to do to use this method. Uh, you need an extra Ethernet card because the one that's on your motherboard will be going to your internet and this one will be doing the replication with the other computer. <clears throat> so that was one thing that I was a little confused uh, when I first started doing the replication thing. <clears throat> also, uh, I didn't know which OS to use and which one would work uh, to use two computers to do a replication thing like that is uh, actually very kind of complicated but, but not complicated and it works very well when it's when the computer is running um, another thing that I was confused a little bit about is uh, I guess I guess more of it will be once we get into running uh, the virtual machine and uh, Yes, uh, you want to run XCP for sure. So anyways, that's it for the server uh, hardware setup. And I think after this, uh, we're going to move on to setting up some software and stuff. And I'm going to show you how the software was set up. And just a, a brief explanation of how I have it set up. And I'll show you how to get the websites running uh, onto like the computer and stuff.